These videos are made for the members and students at the Sports Therapy Organisation and they're just a bite size, quick video to show you some treatments, some, some ideas, some examinations of various joints of the body. I really hope these help you to, um, to, to, to learn about the, the body and also to learn about exercise prescription which will be covered towards the end of each video. I'm joined by my colleague Lucy. Uh, Lucy is a student and she's on placement with us. So I wanted to go into some details about um, various body parts. And let's start with the neck. Lucy, can I ask you to stand up there? And if you just face that way for me. Great. So, first of all, um, before I do anything with Lucy, I'm always just going to check that I've got consent. So I'm going to make sure that she's okay with me examining her, touching her, um, feeling any t tissues or muscles. Um, Lucy, are you okay for me just to examine you, put my hands on you, is that alright? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just, can I just ask you to move your hair out, out of the way, would that be okay? That's great. Okay, so I've got consent um, and I'm going to do an examination. It's really, um, when you examine the neck, I mean this is going to be a very quick examination, it's just a bite-sized video, but actually Lucy, if I just have you facing that way. Um, let's just look at two or three really key movements. Let's just rotate as far as you can to your right for me, Lucy. Okay, great. Yeah, the other right. Super. And to the left. So one of the things I'm looking for is the amount of range of movement in the neck. Uh, Lucy's obviously got a good range of movement, but quite often you see people with neck pain have quite a lot of stiffness in the neck. Just put your chin down to the chest. Good. And lean all the way back towards me. That's lovely. Back to normal. Just bend to the left for me. Good. Bend to the right. Great. Okay. So I've done a really, a, a really brief. Um, a, a, um, range of movement assessment. I can also just just palpate. I might feel the muscles. I might feel for any soreness around this or any tenderness around the upper trapezius or around the, the, the rhomboids, um, mid trapezius here. I can just feel around the toes if I want. But I might just get a general feel of, of, of where the muscle tension is. Here's the subarcular rectus spinae. Now, next thing I might do is just. Um, formulate a treatment plan. So let's say a patient's got a stiff neck. When we do therapy and, and, and exercises, one of, one of the approaches, there's, and there's lots of different approaches, one of the approaches we can use is to, um, to, to examine and, and to address what we find on, on our examination. So if, if we find the neck is particularly stiff, you know, we can do range of movement exercises or we can do mobilizations or soft tissue massage or prescribe exercises to improve the range of movement. You know, if the neck was hypermobile, then we probably want to take a more of an approach where we stabilise it. So we might do more strengthening exercises on the neck. But let's let's just have a let's do some treatment. So do you want to just have a line in front for me? Front for me, Lucy. And uh, so we can do some gentle massage here. We can just simply um, work into the upper trapezius and do some massage techniques here. So we do some soft tissue massage here. We can massage into the side of the cervical erector spinae here. We can massage into the rhomboids and the mid trapezius. And we can also do some mobilisation. So, you know, we can just gently push into the spine just to use a cross-handed mobilisation technique. This is a really good way to improve mobility to the thoracic spine and the neck. We're going to prescribe some exercises now to, to Lucy. One of the best ways to do this is to use Rehab My Patient. Uh, I'm going to sign in here. If you go to rehabmypatient.com, select your clinic. So I'll go to Demo Clinic Therapy. I'm going to, um, I'm going to uh, add, add my patient's details in and then I'm going to select a, an exercise plan for, um, for Lucy. So um, let's, uh, let's just add an email address, that's all good. Okay, um, check I've got my patient details. Let's create a new plan. Um, now I'm going to give Lucy some neck stretches. So let's go with neck all. Um, I can favourite my favourite exercises here. Let's do a, a neck rotation stretch. Let's that add back one there. Let's do a 
uh, a um, upper trapezius stretch. So let's add that one there. Uh, we might recommend some ice or heat to the neck. Let's just do a mobilization, a side flexion mobilization. Add that and put in my plan name, so neck rehab, uh, and press continue. Put in my sets and reps. So repeat that 10 times, twice a day. And let's hold for 30 seconds, do it twice. And let's do 25 of those twice a day. Press save. And then I'm gonna email that over and I've sent the exercise plan to my patient or to Lucian. Yeah. So this is a great way to give the exercises. Okay, so that was just a very, very, very quick video, um, just a bite-sized video. So we, we, we talked about just an examination of the neck, showed you a couple of treatments you can do on the neck, um, and then some exercises that we might prescribe to the neck. The key thing with exercise prescription is to keep it simple. Um, don't prescribe more than three or four exercises per plan. Um, exercise is a really good way to, um, to motivate your patient. Um, they're a really good thing to do when your patient is not, or client is not with you. So we can do the treatment, but it's a really great thing to give that to your, to your patient so they can do it when they leave the clinic. I've printed out my exercise plan, and I'm gonna give this to Lucy. Lucy, here's your exercises. Um, I will have talked you through these exercises briefly with Lucy. There's a description and a video, and it tells Lucy how many times to do the exercises. So it just makes it really easy, and it's a great thing just to hand it to your patient or client, and it gives them something to walk out. And the really cool thing about it is, that you can personalise it. So that's for you. We'll see you next week. See you next week. Thanks. I hope that helps and I'm going to do a series of these videos for you. Thanks a lot.